Hello dandelions and creatures of all kinds! It is a spooky season now, the perfect time to explore the bestiary of Slavic folklore and to talk about V, the Slavic god of the underworld, whose eyes are always hidden under eyelids, eyebrows or lashes. You would never want even catch a glimpse of V's eyes. Any direct interaction with him is fatal, all it takes is one of his looks. Sorry about my voice, I'm sick, but the narration is not going to record itself. V is the incorruptible judge and the ruler of Slavic underworld Nav. He is the embodiment of torture that all criminals, thugs, traitors, killers and scoundrels, all those who broke Yav and Prive laws, will endure once they die. You can learn more about worlds of Yav, Nav and Prive in the episode at the link. So, V has a scorching scourge of fire that he uses to destroy sinners in his hand. V's deadly stare can quickly turn a town into ashes and send a plague to an army. The Slavic Shepherd of Souls is also believed to be a sort of boogeyman who sends nightmares and hallucinations to people. V's appearance varies from region to region. Somewhere he is an orderly man. Somewhere he is the boss of gnomes, and some indicate that he is a creature whose body is covered in earthy bites, and his feet are interwoven with roots. However, all parties agree that he has a small complexion and that his look is unpleasant. V's signature feature is his long eyelids lowered to the ground and huge eyelashes that don't need mascara to enhance the look. It takes an army of servants to raise the eyelids of V with iron pitchforks. Few have seen his real eyes, and those who have seen them cannot describe them. They are no longer alive. Fun fact, the Eastern European concept of imps with pitchforks in hell definitely has its roots in the story of V. The horrifying nature of V lies in his family history. Some sources tell that he is the son of Chernobog, a dark god who brings misfortune. In the other sources, V is the son of Rod, the supreme god, the world's creator. Here comes the bright side of V. He is the harmonizing power of the underworld that pushes people to purify their thoughts and spirit. He is known for his unique methods of burying souls on fire which helps to get rid of people's hard memories and attachments to find the right path. Only pure souls are to be delivered to Prive later to keep the cycle going. V rarely visits the human realm. One of the reasons Shepherd of Souls shows up in Yaf is the disrespectful behavior of mortals towards him, so the Slavs don't mess with V. We all will meet him one day anyway, no need to speed things up. At the same time, V is one of the wisest gods, since he has access to people's innermost thoughts and dreams. This god was greatly honored by Slavic magicians, sorcerers and wizards who would always ask him for secret knowledge with generous gifts. There is also a rumor that V was the mentor of Felis, the Slavic god of three worlds and the pattern of Kato. The main weakness of V is being slow. Such a powerful being can't cope with sunlight and is unable to get anything done himself unless his servants will lift his eyelids with pitchforks. The most famous appearance of the god of the underworld is in the novella V by writer Nikolai Gogol. There are other references in Slavic folklore, but the novel made V an incredibly popular character, now commonly found in horror movies. So, are you ready to meet with V and his soul rehabilitation course when the day X comes? It is certainly going to happen. But in the meantime, are you ready to pass on the story about the Slavic god of the underworld as a bonfire? Shout out to the fellow terrific mythological creatures and creators this season, and happy Halloween, Dandelions!